Hey guys, Harrison here. We're gonna be nitrating a Big Mac. So let's go ahead and get into it. So I give this video going one of two ways. Either one, we create a super explosive, or two, it just turns to a tarry mess. So for those of you that don't know, why is nitration so significant in this video? Well, the trend goes if you nitrate something, especially organic molecules, they become flammable slash explosive. So say you take cellulose, which is found in wood, cotton balls, things like that, you nitrate, you get nitrocellulose. Extremely flammable, and when it's confined, it can definitely explode. Two, we take a rifurol, which is a sugar alcohol, it just, it's a sugar substitute, essentially. You nitrate it, you get a rifurol tetranitrate, which is a very powerful explosive. Um, and many other things, such as toluene, which is just a normal aromatic solvent take that and you nitrate it, you get TNT, trinitrotoluene. So yeah, take some pretty innocent organic compounds and nitrate them and they will become extremely flammable slash explosive. So that's why we're gonna be nitrating a Big Mac. So to ensure we get a good nitration, we're going to have to blend our Big Mac in a blender. This is to give it a nice high surface area to make sure it gets fully nitrated. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water to help kind of loosen things up. <laughs> so gross. Uh oh, it's doing something funky. Oh, there it goes. Now it's really blending. Okay, okay. Now we're making the real Big Mac sauce. So now that we got our Big Mac sauce. <laughs> oh that is i would eat this but this is my chemical blender so i'd rather not die but i do hate myself enough that if it wasn't my chemical blender i would actually eat it i would probably vomit after but let's go ahead and throw it into the dehydrator so we can make our big mac powder this just has to be one of the most foul things i've ever done so let's go ahead and dehydrate it okay so here's our dried big mac and it is um very hard and flaky so it looks like it's picking up some of the paper towel but what we got to do now is i'm gonna go ahead and blend this up looks like we might get some paper towel with it but if anything it's just gonna make some nitrocellulose so it'll improve the explosive characteristics of our big mac It's turbocharging. Okay, now we must form our nitration bath. I'm just using a one-to-one -one mixture of concentrated sulfuric acid to 70% nitric acid. Now I'm going to cool our nitrating bath on an ice bath to make sure it gets down to zero C. And I forgot to add the thermometer. Well, here's the moment of truth. As you see, we're at zero C. I did accidentally spill some salt in there when I was salting the ice bath, but it'll still be fine. It's not going to hurt it. And now we have our powdered Big Mac, and it's time to slowly add some to our nitrating bath. Okay, so far so good. I don't see any crazy taurine or anything. Seems to be mixing in pretty well. Okay, so far so good. Okay, let's add some more. Almost looks like sawdust. Okay, I see we've got a nice, good amount in there. So now it's time to let it sit. I'm probably gonna give it a couple hours to really make sure it fully nitrates and we get our super explosive out. Also, you might be able to see the temperature is increasing, so it definitely is nitrating. So, <laughs> God, this is, this is gonna come out amazing. I already know it. So what is going on here when we're nitrating our Big Mac? So our Big Mac mainly consists of starches and proteins, maybe a little bit of fats thrown and skewed in there. 
So the starch will be nitrated to form nitro starch, which was an actual explosive that was used pretty commonly. And I'm pretty sure World War I, they would use it to fill hand grenades. Um, it's pretty similar to nitrocellulose and its um, combustion properties and of the such. I mean, its structure is pretty similar to nitrocellulose too. So expect that to have nitrocellulose-like properties. And then the proteins will also get nitrated. So why do these organic molecules become explosive once we nitrate them? And the simple answer is we're adding a lot of oxygen into their structure. So normally if you have something like cellulose, right? It doesn't have too much oxygen in its structure and you go to burn it, it has to pull oxygen from the air to burn it. So only the outside can burn inwards. But something like nitrocellulose, there's oxygen all throughout its structure. So it can easily oxidize itself. So there's nothing limiting the inside burning and the outside burning at the same time because they can all oxidize in a single go. So that creates extremely fast burning material. So that's why these things become, most organic molecules come extremely explosive when you nitrate them. Because again, when we nitrate something, we're adding a NO2 group. So we're adding two oxygens for every nitro group we add. So we can get extremely good oxidizer to fuel ratios inside the molecule. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of our powdered Big Mac and combine it with some potassium nitrate and see if we can make a gunpowder kind of out of it. It's not gonna burn too good because it ain't a very fine powder, but we'll see how it turns out. Go ahead and add the rest of our Big Mac powder to this beaker. Okay, now I'm just gonna add a bit of potassium nitrate to it. That should probably be enough oxidizer for our Big Mac. Seems like the Big Mac did pull a little bit of moisture out of the air, so I don't know how well it's going to burn. But make sure we get it nice mixed and powdered. I'm gonna put it in this mortar and pestle. So after grinding it down, here's the Big Mac gunpowder I've made. As you can see there, it's decently fine. It could use the ball mill, but at the moment my ball mill is broken, so we can't use that. But let's go ahead and burn this. Well, I just smoked out the whole neighborhood with that. <laughs> Hopefully no one calls the fire department. Okay, so here is our nitration mixture. It's been sitting for a couple of hours. It's turned yellow and it looks like their honey mustard sauce. <laughs> McDonald's honey mustard sauce. Oh God. I can already tell you right now, the neutralization steps for this are going to be a pain in the ass because it's going to gum up every filter I have. So now I just have some baking soda and some water here, and we will start neutralizing. Let's see how this comes out. <laughs> that looks so gross on the water. That looks just disgusting. Oh my god. I'll come back to you guys when I get this fully neutralized. So I have one that I just diluted with water and you see the foam is green on top. <laughs> Don't ask me why or how. And this is the one that's neutralized with baking soda. I see it's a lot more orange and has this kind of foam on top. But now I'm gonna go ahead and filter each of these. So filtering it gave no success but I skimmed a bunch off the top that was floating and yeah, that looks absolutely fucking disgusting. But I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the air fryer to let it dry out. And well, we'll see if it comes out explosive. By the looks of it, it ain't too good right now, but uh, we'll find out. Well, after many more hours than I'd like to admit, um, the vacuum filtration obviously didn't work. Let's go ahead and give this a burn test and see how it turns out. 
I'm thinking that there's excess. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm starting to think that it's just excess water in there because once that boils off, it really starts going up. It's not in the flame anymore. That's just it self-oxidizing there. Oh, and there goes the rest of it. Oh no, it's still going. Okay, so that doesn't burn the greatest, and I think that's due to excess water, but it definitely was self-oxidizing there, and it almost just... Oh, it almost just randomly catches itself on fire again. So yeah, that would... I would definitely say that nitrated it. So let's go ahead and put it on a hot plate and see how that goes. Okay, I have a hot plate here at max temperature. I'm going to go ahead and place some of our nitrated Big Mac on it. Probably fan off. Oh, it definitely seems angry. Oh, it's angry. It's angry. Oh, <laughs> what on earth? Well, it didn't really burn. It kind of just. Oh, this soot's like very thick well that wraps it up for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it was just a short one just messing around and having some fun um obviously we didn't end up creating a kind of crazy explosive but it definitely nitrated it so very interesting and just for fun so hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time